new construction is still dominating sellers in St. John. Hey guys, Erica Galinas here with our weekly market update. This week we are talking about St. John, Indiana, and a lot of the numbers I have to report are on new construction. So here are the numbers for St. John. This is for the month of April, so April 1st through April 30th. In April, we sold 37 units of real estate for a total of $15.8 million. That gives us an average sales price of $427,000, an average days on market of 44 days. Sales to list price, 99.39%. So, you know, they're still getting a pretty good percentage of that list price. So last month in St. John, so in March, there were 26 units of real estate sold for a total of $12.8 million. That average is $493,000 as a sales price. Average days on market, 51 days. So days on market are about the same, but there's a pretty significant difference between those average list price. In theory, prices went down $64,000 month to month. Also, as we talked about in March, new construction accounted for half of the closing for the March numbers. This month, same thing. It's actually 51% or however it maths out. There were 18 existing homes sold and 19 new constructions homes sold. Another interesting thing about St. John lately, you have both new construction listings, which we're gonna talk about listings in a minute, but also sales. We're seeing a lot more homes in St. John in the $700,000 plus range. It's kind of a new territory for St. John. They're always like, you know, some bigger houses, maybe on acreage, some real nice custom builds from the 60s. But we, you know, our new construction is usually around, I don't know, half a million dollars. We are seeing, particularly with our new builds, at least six or seven of the active listings are over $700,000. And four of the closings are over seven as well. That might be a trend we continue to see in St. John. You know, they're kind of maybe trying to be the Naperville of Northwest Indiana, which, you know, is a great plan. But as we'll see, those numbers are not translating to existing homes. So now pending listings in St. John. These are houses that have been listed. They have a buyer. They haven't closed yet. Uh, pending listings right now in St. John, we have 66 listings uh, with an average list price of 449000 Average days on market of 40 days. So obviously 449, we won't know what those actual closing numbers are until they close. But that's, you know, not dissimilar. I don't want to say it's halfway between our March and April numbers, but it's around there. So it's not like we're having a precipitous drop in St. John housing. We're just kind of doing the regular ups and down month to month. But again, with these pendings, 42 of them are new construction, leaving 24 as existing homes. So two thirds of those pending listings are new construction. And then for our active listings in St. John, this is everything that's listed. Uh, 92 active listings. They have an average list price of $530,000 with average days on market of 81 days. Now, a lot of that's mixed up with new construction. St. John is such a, an interesting market right now with new construction. I am not separating the two out because of these active listings, listings, 66 of them are new construction. Only 26 existing homes in St. John are listed right now. So again, we have that two-thirds ratio. I'm not going to strip out the you know days on market and everything from those new construction because right now that basically makes up the St. John real estate market. So obviously in St. John, we have this huge mm, problem of new construction, at least for existing homeowners. So I drilled down to kind of see, I don't say exactly where we are with existing homes, but to get an idea of the differences between the existing and the new construction market. First, let's look at active listings in St. John. So again, 92 total, uh, 66 new construction, 26 existing, so about two thirds. Um, new construction average list price is $526,000. And again, that includes this new crop of 750 plus homes that they're building in St. John. Average days on market is 83 days for new construction. For existing homes, the average list price is $492,000 with average days on market of 74 days. Those numbers are you know, relatively similar. There's a difference of like $30,000 in list price. There's a difference in days on market of nine days. So it looks kind of right now that listings that are active anyway are kind of neck and neck. They're kind of the same as new construction and existing homes. That difference gets a little bit wider when we start talking about pending listings. So again, uh, 66 total, two thirds new construction. Um, for new construction homes, we have an average list price of $481,000. Average days on market, 33 days. For existing homes, the average price is 443,000 with average days on market 28 days. Again, the days on market aren't that dissimilar. It's a difference of five days, but we are starting to see an expansion between the listing prices on new construction and existing homes on pendings 
and that really comes on the side of the existing homes. So it's a difference of about $40,000 in favor of new construction there at 481. I will note that the average price for existing homes currently on the market is 492,000. The average listing price for homes that are pending, existing homes that are pending is $443,000. That, you know, that's an even, that's a $50,000 difference, let's say. And more importantly, those active listings have been on the market for 74 days versus 28 days for the pending listings. So we're seeing this in every town that we cover. Newer houses that have hit the market are now priced for this new interest rate market. And the ones that are priced well are coming off the market, you know, still in less than a month. And then there's the sales for April. New construction averaged $485,000 as sales price at 41 days on market. Existing homes averaged $366,000 at 47 days on the market. So now we're looking at about an $80,000 list price difference between new construction and existing homes and only a six day difference in terms of days on market. So no big change in St. John. We still have massive new construction sales. We still have massive new construction pricing pushing out existing home sellers. If you're listing your house in St. John, I know it sucks, but please remember that your house, even though it's awesome, is not going to be considered worth as much as a new construction home. I mean, I'm not even saying that's the right thing. I'm just saying that's how it is. We are definitely gonna keep an eye on this market to see what happens. I am particularly interested in to see if developers have kind of targeted St. John as this kind of ritzy suburb of Northwest Indiana. And the new construction we're seeing is gonna go from the, I don't know, $380,000 kind of townhouse-y kind of deals in the gates of St. John, and we're going to start seeing more seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars $900,000 homes being built in the west part of town. Thank you so much for joining me. I am always available for your questions, whether you're a seller, whether you're a buyer, whether you're in St. John, whether you're in California, it doesn't matter. Give me a call or text me anytime at 219-765-2062. If it's easier, you can also send me an email at hsbyerica at gmail.com. I always respond to those every day and I'm low pressure. So if you just have a question, that's totally fine. Also, if you need some more information, check out my website at homesalesbyerica.com. There's a big seller's guide in there, a good buyer's guide. You also have links to my buyer and seller videos that I do on Thursday. This week, we're actually going to be talking about discount brokerages, which can absolutely be a good deal. I just want to make sure everybody understands what's involved. Um, I also do my local market updates. Next week, we're going to be talking about Cherville, which doesn't have a new construction, but it seemed like it was kind of stalled last month. Um, so we'll go ahead and see what it's doing in this week. Please comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. And if it's your first time here, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I do these market updates. I do buyer seller videos, and I'm always happy to hear from you. Thanks again, and I'll see you on Thursday.